Hi, my name is Chris Montgomery, and I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of TN3 Cues. This week, we are premiering our first episode in a multi-episode series that we're going to be doing on Microsoft Azure. The reason that we're having this discussion is because Azure, although it appears on the surface to be a relatively new product, is a product that's been on the market for some time. However, it's getting a lot of traction these days due to a variety of reasons. And what we'd like to cover today is what specifically is Azure, what are some of the benefits your business could derive from it, and how could your business be protected by using this solution. I have my cloud services manager with me today, Aaron Oliver, to give us more insight on the solution. And keep in mind, again, this is the first in a multi-part series outlining the benefits of this solution and how it can work for your organization. So Aaron, let's get started with a simple question. What is Azure and is it secure? Sure. So Azure is Microsoft's enterprise level cloud platform. Mm -hmm. um, it's scalable. It uh, It's compute, it's applications, it's networking on a global scale, and it's a way for businesses to host their uh, infrastructure, applications, or maybe just pieces of their business mm -hmm. uh, in Microsoft's uh, domain so that they don't have to manage or maintain hardware. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as if it's secure or not, it's going to be more secure than anything you're going to have on site, um, mainly because it's got no access. I mean, people aren't in and out of your data center like they are your server closet or your building uh, mm -hmm. where you do your business. So from a security level, I would say that it's probably more secure than anything you're going to uh, host yourself, uh, mainly because it's Microsoft. They're doing things right, mm -hmm. um, and they meet compliance needs for just about any business vertical that you might be in or uh, any, any place that your business might go. If you decide to accept credit cards and need to go PCI compliant, they can meet those compliance requirements. Mm -hmm. Same thing for HIPAA or FINRA, SOX, any of those types of compliance needs. So now that we understand exactly what Azure is, I mean, to the best of your ability to describe it without getting into the, the tall grass of all the different verticals that could apply here and different scenarios that we could use the solution for, can we talk a little bit about some of the benefits of the solution just at a high level? Yeah, so as a business owner or um, as a, a principal at a business, it gives you the ability to get out of the hardware business so you're mm -hmm. not hosting your own hardware. Mm -hmm. um, get you out of having to, to put that big uh, CapEx out in front, when you go to purchase something, you kind of move to an OpEx model, mm -hmm. uh, help with your cash flow, um, and reduce overall cost because you're only going to pay for what you need. Uh, mm -hmm. Most of the time, if you go to buy equipment, you're scaling things out saying, what might I need in two or three years? Yeah. With this, you're just going to pay for what you need now, and if you need more as you go, you can just incrementally tap that as needed. Okay. It's also very, so that makes, A, a it makes it scalable, mm -hmm. um, but B, it gives you that flexibility to say, I'm a smaller business now, and in three years, um, I can be a much larger business without mm -hmm. putting a bunch of money out or having to plan for that now. Yeah. Um, the other thing it allows you to do is if you are a business owner and you just kind of want to move some of your stuff to the cloud or server refresh is coming up, you can start going into sort of a hybrid model mm -hmm. where you kind of put your toe in the water and move just a little bit of your equipment or some of your services out to the Azure infrastructure mm -hmm. while keeping some of it in-house. Mm -hmm. um, and what's nice about that is then you can access your data, your services, or your applications from anywhere. So it makes it more of a global feel yeah. uh, for your business without having to be you know, a huge global player in a particular market. All right, so Aaron, now that we understand what Azure is, and more specifically what some of the benefits of using the solution are, what can it protect against? We know it's a secure environment, but more specifically, what, what can this protect against if we were to have our information housed there? Yeah, well, it protects you, A, if you're not in the hardware business, it's going to protect you from hardware failures so, okay. um, or electrical failures, internet connection failures at your office. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, I mean, you obviously have to have internet, but if your internet were to go down at your building, you can go anywhere else with internet connection, connect your services and take off. Uh, it's going to protect you against natural disasters, um, you know, floods, fire, um, storms, anything like that is not going to impact you as much. And you can set up Azure in such a way that it's not only uh, redundant, in Azure's cloud, but you can also set it up so that it's uh, geo-redundant, so that okay. you've got stuff in different data centers. So even if a natural disaster in your area were to take out your business and maybe the the Azure data center in your region, mm -hmm. all of your services can still be running in another region. They're still accessible. That way you can still do continue to do business. Or if you've got you know services that are out there that people are paying for, you're not going to have people complaining that their services are down. So it mm -hmm. uh, protects you against that kind of stuff. It also protects you against uh, human error. Um, things like that as far as if somebody 
were to unplug something in your building that they're not supposed to, mm -hmm. um, that kind of thing is not going to affect you if you're out in Azure's cloud. So it gives you a lot of a lot of redundancy, mm -hmm. uh, kind of have some built-in disaster recovery, and mm -hmm. it can be configured for extremely high available disaster recovery so that you don't have any downtime ever. Aaron, thank you so much for joining us today on TN3 Qs. I do appreciate it, yep. providing us some insight on the Azure solution, so thanks again. And thank you so much for your time today as well, and we look forward to seeing you next time on TN3 Cubes.